<laughs> Get ready to laugh because today we're breaking down some of the funniest scenes from The Simpsons. That's right, folks. I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. Let's bring on the first clip. Something incredible has happened. Oh, what happened now? Did the rubble burn down? No, come on. We see there's a bunch of cots in that room and is it some sort of evacuation type facility or whatnot? I mean, sadly, there are times when natural disasters ha happen. You gotta get out. Yay! Oh, they rebuilt our house. Oh. It's a miracle. I started making some calls last night, and before I knew it, practically all of Springfield was offering to help. Sure. Hope you like it, neighbor. We didn't have the best tools or all the know-how, but we did have a wheelbarrow full of love. And a cement mixer full of hope and some cement. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. I, I, I don't know how I can possibly repay you. But if any of you ever need a favor, just look for the happiest man in Springfield. There's all these shows out there about building and remodeling and, you know, whether it be here over in Europe. We have done a couple really fun builds down south of the border where we built a needy family, a new home, and we actually did construct it over a weekend. You know, unfortunately down there, just they live in pure poverty. So a great organization, but we did build it over the weekend. Just made you feel good. Took a bunch of fun toys and stuff down for them as well. And just the, the tears and smiles on these kids' faces is, is incredible. So get out there and do that if you can. The living room and dining rooms with a lovely flow for entertaining. Uh-huh. And oh, looks like a loose nail. Eh, one out of 25 ain't bad. Your beautiful kitchen, Ned. Just as you remember it. Was that the... <laughs> Always next to the refrigerator? Ah, uh, Ned. You ever try lugging a toilet up a flight of stairs? <laughs> Poor Ned, he, he, he comes in. I, I don't know if you noticed, he kind of struggled with the front door, a little sticky there, but as he walks in, a nail, seems like he caught a sweater, and then you roll into the kitchen, looks at the fridge. Wow, this is great. And then the toilet right next to the fridge. I have never seen that in my 27 years of selling real estate. There have been a couple times that I've seen washer and dryer in the kitchen area, so literally fridge here. I'm like, what the heck is that? Either a door opens up, stacked washer and dryer. You see it a lot in Europe, but we also see it in smaller places, just kind of space saving, so have seen it. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever seen in a kitchen? Tell me in the comments below. Lisa and I built your room, but I don't like this clown. Uh, I wouldn't take it down if I were you. It's a load-bearing poster. <laughs> a load bearing poster there's no such thing load bearing could be more directed towards a beam that would actually support the foundation it, it connects down to the foundation and connects up to the top so it supports the roof and the structure it also holds the walls in place so that would be a support beam not a support poster <laughs> Now, this is a room with electricity, but it has too much electricity. So I don't know, you might want to wear a hat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Most larger type commercial buildings will have a, a designated electrical room, usually locked, you know, only specific people are allowed to go in there. And that controls the entire building, HVAC units, all of the power, sometimes solar, all that good stuff. Floor feels a little gritty here. Yeah, we ran out of floorboards there, so we painted the dirt. Pretty clever. Oh, something is definitely wrong with this hallway. I have seen a couple times houses that it kind of goes to an A-frame pitch that it will get smaller as you go. Amazing loft area you go up and like this one section is just a huge high ceilings, eight, 10, 12 foot ceilings. And then it tapers down to about two feet, but it was all this big wall of windows. So it was like this incredible feel with like these interior blinds that you could push a button and it would shut if it got too sunny. Come on in, <laughs> it's your master bedroom. Ow, my nose. Well, I've seen about enough. Oh, man. I don't know if there's another room where he's just standing and sticking his head in the door, but you know, there's obviously little fun areas underneath like stairwells and whatnot. You open it up, it's a fun little closet throw some stuff in there, have a little playhouse, playroom for kids. So, Flanders, what do you think of the house that love built? <laughs> oh, 
rescued. They should have never taken that poster down. Gosh, you gotta love these neighbors, but unfortunately it didn't work out too well. This just goes to prove you need to hire professionals. You need a contractor with a license and they need to be bonded and then they can have subs, they can have an electrician, they can have a plumber, they can have all these different people to help out. I'll stay with my very best friend in the world, Lanny. Hi, Simpsons. That's Lanny. Oh, I wanted the black one. Wow, Lanny, your apartment is stunning. You know, obviously Lanny has a pretty sweet bachelor pad. I mean, he's got the bar area, he's got like a wood burning stove, some cool high ceilings, and then the spiral staircase. You know, spiral staircases are unique, they're space saving. So you can kind of put those in the corner or we'll get you to the next level versus having to do a stairwell or like a stairwell that would go up and out. They tend to be really tight and they also tend to be a little bit tougher for people as we get up in age to get up and down them. So how do you afford such a sweet pad? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, I share a common wall with a highlight cord. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the sound of the pelota hitting the fronton. I find it soothing. <laughs> Bye. They obviously went to the wrong friend's house. I wouldn't find that sound soothing at all. Ah! It's kind of like when you live in an apartment building or whatnot and the neighbor above you is either very heavy footed and or they love the party and you know, stuff just going on at all times. It, it, it's not a pleasant sound and or like a, a crazy barking dog that just won't stop. <laughs> I have asked you kindly to stop that dog from howling all day. Thanks for letting us stay with you. Oh, please, it is such an honor to host our favorite family and you came at an exciting time. I'm chairing a meeting of the Galactic UN. <laughs> My apologies, the paint is still wet on Ambassador Farfoon. <laughs> They're gone. Definitely my family's not gonna be staying there. Some actually really cool Lego figurines. My kids would love those. We are not staying at Moe's. Maggie's already drunk on the fumes and she's a mean drunk. <laughs> oh, come on guys, you gotta stay. Tonight's the big cock fight. We can eat the loser. Who wants to eat a loser? Dad, we have to find a place soon. I really have to go to the bathroom and I'm out of tokens. You know, I heard of a new reality show where they let you live in a home for free. Oh, yeah. The gimmick is it's a house from 1895. And you got to do everything like they did back then. 1895? Forget it. We'd be too late to save Lincoln and too early to save Kennedy. It's funny. In, in real estate, we see so many cool, unique houses here in, in San Diego and around. We've had a couple where they have full-blown bars like you would see at the nicest restaurant. We had one where you walk down the hallway, there's this beautiful piece of art. The gentleman looked at me and he goes, hey, why don't you um, push on that? And it was like this globe type thing. So I pushed it and this whole thing just retracted back and you walked into like probably one of the coolest bars I've ever seen in my life, man cave-ish. You know, the best part was we sealed the deal for selling that pad <laughs> in that bar. So it was good, it was good. <laughs> The Simpsons are not going to stay at any of these places. They have the three choices. The rack I'm going to call it the racquetball court because that's all I know. That house, great, but obviously, I don't know about that one. Secondly, you have the, the intergalactic one, or Moe's. Moe's seemed actually quite inviting. They did have bathrooms. It was kind of quiet in there. Probably not the best for kids, but I could probably try to make that work. <laughs> Tell me in the comments below, which one would you pick? And let me know what other housing scenes from your favorite shows you want me to react to next. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and smack that like button for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching.